Morning all, uh, I've been asked to um, do a video uh, for Trevor. Uh, gonna put this on the Maggie Thrower uh, YouTube channel, which I think is fantastic. Uh, all of the things that have been going on down at Alders Farm and all the contributors. I've been watching all of the videos, really, really great stuff in these most difficult times. Um, so big well done to you, Trevor, and all of the team down there as Alders. I think you're doing a fantastic job. Um, but this morning I thought, um, having been asked, what can I contribute that might help people that, that perhaps haven't thought about things like this in this much detail? Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about worms uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit about feeding worms and at certain times when you might want to consider doing something a little bit differently. Uh, it's what I call a bit of a negative approach to fishing. It's particularly useful during the colder months um, for me personally, but um, do with this as you, as you, as you wish and, um, and, and try and experiment a little bit with your fishing. Um, I'm probably more interested in silverfish fishing, if I was completely honest. Um, and on that basis, these tips are sort of um, more geared towards that environment. You can probably tell in front of the video there, I've got uh, my hand sanitizer. So before I get cracking, um, I'll use that, just given the environment where we are at the minute. Um, so in my bucket here, I've got a few things that I'm gonna, um, share with you today and that might look like the old faithful bag of worms at the moment um but actually it isn't a bag of worms and i'm going to talk about that in just a bit more detail in just a second uh, and here um i've got a bag of um ground bait that you would typically use in the winter just bring that forward a little bit for you it's just the standard tom thick um ground bait um that i'd use in the winter but actually what I want to talk about today is what's in this bag. So, during the winter, there are times, or more often than not, during the winter, we'll be using a bag of these. We'll be using worms, chop worms and casters and maggots, through ground bait and feeding pegs often with balls. I fish a lot at Medlands in the winter. It can be quite a deep venue in certain areas and you're feeding a lot of balls of ground bait to get your bait down. But what I've found over a few years and since I've been fishing for silvers is sometimes you need to have a really negative approach to fishing. Um, and this is where this tactic really comes into its own um, that I'm gonna share with you right now. It's a feeding tactic more than anything else. Um, but some days, even the mighty Tom Thick ground bait um, is not gonna be used in every single swim that I'll be setting traps for during the course of the day to put a bag of silvers together. And quite often what I'll need is what I call a very negative approach. And in here, um, what I've got is, as I use a lot of fur, as I use a lot of worms throughout the year, um, I've always got loads of this stuff, which is peat, or the worm soil that it comes in. And I always keep a stock of this to hand, and that's what's in that bag there. So there's no worms actually in there, it's just riddled off. Um, we call it black, um, but it's just riddled off black. Uh, and what I find is sometimes in the winter where I want to do a negative approach, but I want to get um, small quantities of bait down to the bottom really quickly, and I don't want to necessarily feed chop worm and casters directly, uh, I'll mix up um, a little bit of peat, or a little bit of soil, a little bit of black, um, so that it creates almost like a little bit of a paste there. So I've just added lake water to that. And then what I can do with really small amounts of chopped worm and maybe even sort of half a, half a dozen, six, eight, ten casters, I can feed that into a little tiny ball with the black, put that in a kinder pot, and that will carry that bait straight down to the bottom for me. One of the advantages of feeding it in that way is that you're not actually putting a huge amount of feed content into the lake. So it really is a very negative approach but it can be deadly because the fish will come looking to investigate what's going on in that cloud that's landed on the bottom and started to disperse. But all they'll really find is, is your hook bait and the tiniest amount of loose offerings. And it's a scenario that can be quite deadly when perhaps you fed a bit more aggressively on one of your other lines with um, some, some real good quality ground bait through the course of the winter. So just remember not to throw away 
your black when you fish with worms on a regular basis, riddle it off when you've used all the worms that are in that bag and start to keep hold of your black and keep a supply of it in stock all the time. It's certainly something that I've done over recent years, well not over recent years, I've done it for many years actually, and it's been taught to me by other anglers. And it, and it seems to work really well in certain situations when you wanna just pick off a few fish on a negatively fed one, perhaps where something else uh, has been fed more aggressively. Um, little short tip for you today, uh, it might be something you can use in silverfish matches in the future. I just wanna to say to you all, you know, stay safe, um, stay clean, wash your hands, use your sanitizers, stop in, don't go fishing, watch all the videos on the Maggot Throwers YouTube channel. Keep tuned with um, Trevor and, and all the anglers that he's got working for him uh, and doing these little feeds. I think you're doing a fantastic job and I wish you all well and I hope to see you on the bank again soon. All the very best. Bye-bye.